Buick Swan is quite a small swan, very charismatic. It spends the summers up in Arctic Russia where it breeds and then it flies west to spend the winters in Western Europe. I'm going to be flying the entire route by paramotor. I'll be starting with them up in Arctic Russia and then flying southwest through 11 countries back to the UK. The unusual thing about my expedition team is that we all have slightly separate jobs and quite different backgrounds. So we've got our microlight pilot. For him, the really detailed stuff is important. For some of the media team, it's really important for them to have a bit of confidence in seeing a weather system that we might not have noticed. It's very important for a pilot to prepare for the weather. Uh, they have to anticipate the conditions that are expected during their flight. There's a wide range of pilots come on the course. Some of them are uh, pre-qualification um, student pilots. Others are more experienced with two or 3,000 hours experience. The tutors go through a lot of the exercises with you, so you're not sort of left in the lurch. They're very supportive and they let us work in groups. So we're obviously going to be working in a group, so that works really well for us. The course covers all aspects of weather that affect aviation, so that we start with the wind. We then look at the general weather, the air masses that affect the flight path. We then go in to look at where the information is available for the pilot, what type of uh, data they can get for forecasts and actual conditions. This is such a unique expedition and so much of our training has been specifically tailored to this expedition and I think that's what this course is all about, to help us be as best prepared as we can be. You don't really know what you don't know and that's what I'm already starting to learn just in this first day, finding areas where my level of understanding has been so simple that it could potentially have misled us on the expedition. It'll be nice to do the whole expedition by paramotor but the thing we really want to achieve is that say within the next few years we start to notice a change in the population of the swan and it stops dropping. That will be the real test of whether it's been a success.